you will have those little moments where you're playing number eight against France and it's hit the fan and you've got key scrums and the ball skids back a bit and you lose control at the back of two scrums. Now, if it's worth it for the long term, go for it. But I think when Billy's fit, he's straight back in and Tom Curry's back to six or seven if Underhill's not fit. So I'm not, I'm not convinced as a punter, it's worth it. David Flapper, Tom Shatley. How do you feel about England playing players out of position? Incredibly angry. I haven't slept, is the honest answer. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of anger around these days, and I know why. It's England rugby selection. Um, I, think, um, I think Eddie Jones is an excellent rugby coach. I think his demeanour has changed quite a lot of late. I don't think he enjoys being questioned, and I think his two general reactions to being questioned are to be defiant, you know, sort of contrary. Uh, and I also think he's quite aggressive when questioned. I don't think he believes anyone should be able to, really, which I find an odd thing. But it makes it really interesting for all of us lot to watch and us lot in the media. I think playing players out of position can mean a couple of things. If you, sh if you stick Shanks at tight head, then it's completely ridiculous. But you're moving from centre to the wing, and actually you probably... You know, what you might lose over having a pure winger, you gain defensively, so there are arguments for it. And it's probably because you don't have a flat out, you want a, a top of the range winger ready to go. So the whole thing at the moment about the back row thing, I mean, people, people love to go mad about a second row getting picked at six, but Courtney's man of the match about one, at one in three games he plays at the moment. The guy's unbelievable, so who's going to leave him out? What I find odd is the picking of someone who is in the top, one or two players in the world at six or seven, picking him at eight, where there are, just at periods, very specific skills that you need. I find it odd picking him there, Curry there, when he's so good somewhere else, when there are ready-made, excellent, outstanding number eights ready to go. I find that odd, and I think that Tom Curry will always play well, because he is a truly world-class player, even though he's 22 or whatever he is. He is truly world-class. He is outstanding. So he will always play well. However, you will have those little moments where you're playing number eight against France and it's hit the fan and you've got key scrums and the ball skids back a bit and you lose control at the back of two scrums. Now, if it's worth it for the long term, go for it. But I think when Billy's fit, he's straight back in and Tom Curry's back to six or seven if Underhill's not fit. So I'm not, I'm not convinced as a punter it's worth it. Uh, to be honest with you, I, would, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if today, even though Tom Curry's picked at number eight, on Wales put-ins in the scrum, you see him at number eight because he can get away quicker to either side defensively. But on England scrums, you might well see Mark Wilson playing at number eight because he's done it more and he can control them. But Eddie Jones would not put eight on Wilson's back because I think he likes to piss off people that say he should. There you go. Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the dessert is coming.